Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next training topic which is on export preparation. So basically whenever any OSDB migration is to be performed, before we can actually start exporting the data, one of the major activity is the preparation of export. So before we can export the data out of the source system we have to prepare the export so what is involved in preparing this export so let's see okay so basically here we are trying to do an export of a ABAP based system so we take an inventory of things like whether the system is dual stack or not whether have we downloaded the master that is the installation master which is having the export option for that particular version okay then we have we downloaded the java software have we downloaded the relevant kernel oracle oracle patches jc policy files then the up uh, the softwares like some or uh, things like kernel okay so basically what to categorize them the way they looks like is first thing is the software provisioning tool which is the tool using which you will trigger the export okay so that is the first tool then second thing is about the relevant kernel that is for, for the source system you need to have the relevant kernel with okay then you need to have a java software if it is a dual stack system okay then the database point of view have do you have the relevant database software the patches the policy files okay so these are some of the softwares which need to be downloaded beforehand okay before you can start the export process okay then in the preparation phase there is one key activity is to run this particular report called smigr underscore ddl create ddl so what this does is basically this is the report for checking uh, the custom sql statement say for example if you have a standard sap system you may not have that say for example for the ecc system the output of smigr underscore create dll may be empty the files will be empty but we have to run it because especially for say bw based systems they have lot of custom uh, structures created custom bw structures created so wherever we feel that there is a custom structure involved custom schema involved custom uh, database related activities is involved so we have to run this program called smigr create dll so it will create the data dictionary related statements and once these statements are created so what will happen is that when the export is running it will try to pick up those non-standard or non-sap supplied or non uh, things like which which are not there in the standard sap like bw schema bw structures so those type of things get captured by this particular report okay if you see this this particular syntax of this say for what we'll do is if we go to this program called se38 and we run the report called smigr underscore create dll so here you can see that this is valid for you can have these many types of databases that is you can have db2 db4 db6 infomix oracle ms sql max db okay so this report you can have the target database for these of these additional parameters say for example if you are doing unicode conversion and then the installation directory is in which directory it need to be installed okay so then these are some of the optional parameters as well so once you run this it will take about 30 to 40 minutes depending on the size of the database and it will create one key file called sql files.lst 
okay depending on which parameter which folder you have specified you'll find these files in those folder okay so sql files dot lst that is list down the sql files which is created so you may be fi find couple of sql files listed there okay here you can see that this is an example of how those files will be of the output of that particular program that is smigr underscore create underscore dll so here you can see that sql files dot lst and there are two other sql fi xml files which is created okay so next thing is we will go to this particular program we'll go to the installation master okay so installation master if it is a old installation older installations you may need to use pro tools like sap inst okay or you may need to use uh, for the newer installations you may need to use software provisioning manager okay so depending on what type of version it is and whether do you have the export import version for the relevant software component software version in in there okay so in this particular folder you can see that this is basically uh, upgrade from 7.01 to 7.3 so in this particular upgrade preparation what we are doing is we are starting the sap ins tool sap inst tool and once we start the sap inst tool here you can see that there are different components which can get upgraded from updated or migrated from here so you can see that we have crm ecc under that you have things like application server ABAP, application server java and the migration related components you will find them under software lifecycle options okay under software lifecycle options look for system copy okay in system copy you will find different databases so select go to the source system export and under that let's go for the central system okay here you can see that just make sure that you expand in this particular manner and go to the ABAP and Java based export preparation so what happens in the export preparation you can see that say here when you expand that it will give you the description of basically this is an optional step but it is advised to carry out this particular step okay the export preparations are required if you are to build the target system up to the point where the database load starts before the export of the source system so especially if you are using migration monitor for export this is must because it will create the structure of the database okay so you will have the statements which is having the structure okay so in the preparation activity you can find there are things like table splitting preparation so if the larger tables are there they can be split from here so that is one thing that i wanted to bring it up okay now when you have selected the export preparation the first screen that comes is asking for the profile information so in the profile information the main thing is that you need to provide the location where your sap profile related files are present so profile files if you go to the sap's uh, if you are managing SAP system as a basis administrator, you will know the location where the profiles are present. You will have three different types of profile. You will have a uh, default profile. You will have a system prof instance profile okay, and system profile. So these are the three different types of profile you will find there. And once you go to that folder, okay, you will find the these three dot PFL files and once you provide that location all the information relevant to the sap system is picked up from the profile folder and it will give you the next option which is basically is asking for the authentication information that is what is the sid adm password 
okay so you need to provide that particular password that is so that once it has the SID ADM SID basically stand for the software information uh, it's basically the instance location the the key instance for SAP and once you go provide that information okay then you need to provide a location for the export so basically it will ask the location of where you want to dump all the export related files so that information is provided and captured here okay so next thing is in the definition of parameters you need to define the key source system parameters that is the source database id okay so dbc source of the database that is the what type of database is the source system we have oracle it could be anything then the database host this is the host name of the database where you are triggering the export then you have the source os that is what is the operating system for the source where you are triggering the export preparation so next thing here you can find is the target system specific information so in the target system specific information the main thing that is being asked is that which type of os you are ex you will be creating your target system so that is the database for the target system is specified here okay then this is one very important information is about the update database statistics so what happens is that the update stats are run you can see that using br connect we are running the update stats all the update stats so this optimizes the export time because if you have a very large systems like a terabyte system it can take up to 12 to 15 hours or even 24 hours for the export depending on the speed of your system so it is very important that you run these statistics or before you are running this what you can do is say one day before the few days one at least one day before you trigger this so that you already have the updated statistics okay so this actually speeds up the export process so it is advised to perform this but you have an option that you can perform this at a time when you are starting the export pre preparation or you can do it few hours before the export so because it takes about one to two hours so you can save that time if you have done it before little bit before even if you do it few days or few weeks before what will happen is that the update statistics will change because the the objects keep changing and their locations and the identifications where they are loaded may keep changing so just make sure that you are not doing it much in advance this particular activity okay now here it gives the summary that is whatever parameters we have specified so far in the export preparation so all these parameters are listed here you can see that you have specified the profile related parameter that is the folder where your profile directory is present you have specified your os user password that is password for the sap system administrator you have specified the location where your export will be stored and for the target system you have specified the type of target database okay and the decision about whether you want to include your update statistics during the export or not so once you make a decision you just need to click next and you will get into the execution phase so in the execution phase here you can see that there are five major steps involved in this first is the export preparation after that it is doing the update database statistics preparing to export ABAP, preparing to export Java and finally it will create a export DB, DB size file. So DB size file as you will see is basically it will tell you that okay this is going to be the size of your target database and each 
tables what is going to be the size for each tables what is going to be the the different components within the table so basically this will provide you the information about for the target system what is the size you need so this is extremely important so that you can prepare your target system based on this information okay once it is completed it may it depends on whether you have selected the update stats or not it may take up to say without this it may take about 10 to 15 minutes or even if it is very fast system it may take up to 5 minutes but if you have selected the update stats it may take about 2 hours or so okay so this is pretty much about the export preparation for an ABAP system that is what I wanted to cover in this particular training video. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.